Hello everyone, now let's create some malicious batch files in order to see that what else we can do with the help of batch programming. Now let's create some batch files in order to extend the functionality of batch programming. Well, I will use the same Windows 7 operating system in my virtual box in order to test those files. So first of all, we will make one batch file which will delete all the files present inside a particular directory or the files which are present inside a particular disk drive. So let's go here to my computer and here you will find one disk drive that is local disk key. So let's create some file inside it. So I'm creating a notepad file here. Let me copy this up and paste it some for a few more times. So here you will see that we have created 29 files. Now let's go back and let's open the notepad. So here we will write down the code which is responsible for deleting all the files. So at the rate echo off. Then here we will write down del. So del is actually a command in command prompt which is used to delete a particular file or a, all the files. You can see here the delete command is supported by command prompt. And here we will pass the two arguments f and q. So f, is, f means forcefully. And then here we have to write down the path of a particular folder or a path of a particular disk drive of which we want to delete the files and we will write here local disk E and here I will just put the star then dot then star again so this symbol is actually used for selecting all the files so you can also check it here let's go here to local disk E and if I just put it here you can see that it has listed out all the files present inside that particular directory so let me save that file so let's save this file as delete.bat click on save and you can see here that the files come here so now if I double click on this file or execute this file and if I go back here to the my computer local disk E you will see that this file has actually deleted all the files which are present inside local disk E. So similarly what you can do you can specify here the path of a local disk C and you know and you all know that in local disk C our windows files and configuration files are present and if you want to make this file this batch file as a malicious one you can just point to system32 directory and if this file deletes all the file present inside the system32 directory then our system will be corrupted and it will never start once we shut down that system now let's do one thing let's create one more file which will shut down a particular system and will give a particular message to the user so let's go here let me close this thing and let's create a new notepad file so we have to write down the same code at the rate echo off and here we will write down message so here the msg is actually a command in a command prompt in order to display a particular message so we have to write here an asterisk that is star and here we have to write down the message you are hacked and just hit enter and here we will write down the command in order to shut down a particular system so I'm writing here shut down followed by hyphen s means shut down and here I will specify a particular time like hyphen t that after a particular time our shift system will be shut down so just write here you can give any seconds let's give it as 10 that after 10 seconds our system will be shut down and here we will give one more argument that is hyphen c so this is for actually displaying a particular comment so let's write here You are hacked by batch file and let me close the double quotes and let's just save this file on my desktop and you can just rename it as anything like hello.bat. So here you can see that if I just double click on this file. So the first of all this file will display us a message that you are hacked and if I click on OK here you will see 
that this is this message that is comment you are hacked by the batch file and now you can see that now my system is shutting down so this is how you can also make this kind of batch files in order to shut down a particular system and you can just convert it into .exe file and you can change its icon and you can do a lot of things so now the next thing we have to do is obviously we have to start our Windows 7 operating system again so the next example which I want to show you is actually a part of DNS poisoning attack so first let me just log in So in upcoming videos we will discuss about DNS poisoning in which we can change the DNS configuration of a particular system and then we can redirect a user of a particular website to another website. So as we all know that versus the function of DNS is actually used for changing the domain name into IP address. So in, look, in Microsoft Windows operating system there is one file called as host file which is used to mapping the domain name into an IP address. So that file that is host file is present inside local disk C Windows and system 32 and here is one directory called as drivers etc and here you can see the host file present inside this directory and if I open this file in notepad you will see here that it has listed out the sample configuration so here you can see a local host so it's a domain name and once we type the local host in any browser we just get redirected to this IP address now what I'm going to do is I will create one entry inside this file and I will point out and write down here google.com and a unknown IP which means if anyone just type in browser google.com he just get redirected to that IP and that IP and that IP is not actually a real one so that's why the user will see a, a 404 not found message or any other message now let's go here to our notepad okay so let's write down a code for this DNS poisoning attack so I'm just writing over here at the rate echo off and first of all we will change our directory so we will go to C then Windows then system 32 then drivers then etc and here we go so let's just verify this path by clicking over here so see windows system 32 drivers and etc so we have to write down this d as this thing okay let's go here now here we will write down a command echo and here we'll specify a first of all here we will write down the ip address so let's write here localhost ip address again and now let's add here the domain name google.com and just we use this redirectional operator in order to save this output of echo in a particular file and that file name is hosts so let's do one more entry with the same IP and now this time just write down here HTTP google.com let's do one more time let's now do it for HTTPS okay now let's save this file So here you can see that this file is created on my desktop 
and in order to run this file we have to run this file with an administrative privileges so let's go here and just run this file as an administrator now in order to verify let's go back here and let's just open this file again and let's see that whether we are successfully able to make an entry in that file or not and here you can see our entries and here is our IP address and here is that domain now let's go here and let's start the Internet Explorer let's just open a new tab so now let's write here http google.com and let's see what happened so here you can see that our Internet Explorer is displaying this error that is Internet Explorer cannot display the web page why this is giving us an error because as soon as we just write here http google.com and hit enter our this domain just get mapped to this IP that is this one localhost IP and there is no localhost server running so that's why it's down so that's why we are seeing this message so what else we can do is so even you can just write here a legitimate IP a public IP and if just a uh, user open that page or particular website he just get redirected to that public IP so what attackers do they actually map a particular systems into their own IP which is a malicious one so the same thing you can do for the multiple domains so this was a small introduction we can say for a DNS attack which we will cover in the upcoming videos now in the last let's create a last batch file which will disable the mouse by hitting the registry entries in our windows operating system so while doing the windows hacking I also told you that how we can copy the SAM file by going to registry editor so first of all let's go there so let's write here regedit and here you can see the registry editor now what I'm going to do here is I will create a batch file which will do a little modification in the registry and will actually disable the mouse of this operating system so first of all let me take you to that path or the registry which holds the mouse settings so let's go here to the HK local machine then system then current control set and here you will find one directory called as services and here is one directory called as mouse class so let's directly go there and here you can see the directory mouse class mouse class and here you can see that the mouse class driver and here the file which is we want to hit so its name is start and if I just double click on it so by default it value is 3 so if I just change its value and make it as a 4 and click on OK and if I boot my system again then that time my mouse will not work so now what we have to do in our batch file we actually have to hit this registry and we will try to change the value of this file that is start and the data type is it's a registry D word so let me just close this thing and let's create a new notepad file and now let's write here echo at the rate echo off and this file also requires an administrative privileges so first of all we'll write down this command set key and here we'll write down h key local machine then system and current control set followed by the services then mouse class M O U C L A W -S, S and now what we'll do first of all we will delete the previous key which is present inside that file in that the start file and we'll write here registry delete percentile key 
and then we will make a new entry that is reg registry add then key and here we will write here the file so we can specify a file by writing here forward slash v and the file name we saw is start and we will specify one more parameter the slash t and here we will write a data type so the t stands for type and its registry d word it's not an integers so and here we will specify the value or the data and it's 4 now let's just cross check and verify so it's h key local machine and system current control set services and MOU class okay everything looks perfect now let's just save this file as reg.bat so you can see this file here now let's run this file as an administrative privileges so first of all it asks us that whether we want to delete the previous registry just write down here why and now if you go here to the start you will see that we cannot edit okay no worries let's just restart this operating system and let me just close this file and now here you can see that our mouse is disabled you can see here that here is my mouse on my parent operating system and if I open this one you will see that my mouse is not working so this is a very annoying trick which you can do and be sure that what you are doing while using this batch file because and also be sure to write a particular registry path and if suddenly you will write a wrong registry path then it will cause a big problem for you so in this video we have covered that what else we can do by batch programming and how we can turn a simple batch programming into malicious one so thanks for watching this video